hundreds of businesses in the Wabash Valley could be financially affecting you and your family. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. It's not what these businesses are doing. It's, it's what they're not doing, paying their taxes. And since this tax money goes to things like education, libraries, and public transportation, this could have a major impact on you and your family. News 10's Louisa Moeller explains. More than 300 Vigo County businesses are not paying their sales tax or have paid it late. More specifically, their retail registered merchant certificates have expired. That's something a business must have in order to legally operate in Indiana. It's all public information on the Indiana Department of Revenue's website. And what's even more shocking is how it could be hurting you and your family. Here's some local businesses listed on the website that have already shut down. And dozens more are operating illegally. So what does this mean for you? Money made from sales taxes makes up half of Indiana's budget. That means these businesses could be contributing to education and other areas that continue to face state budget cuts. And the state's budget itself, the general fund, about 50% or greater of that actually goes to public education and other parts of that budget go to fund higher education as well as teacher pensions, Medicaid, and as well as correction system. Close to 26,000 businesses in Indiana are on this list of tax delinquents. The Department of Revenue estimates that's close to $70 million lost to the state. Back to you. One local businessman is being sued by the Indiana Attorney General for failing to pay sales tax. He's the owner of Indiana Collision Specialist and Midtown Auto Body. According to the Department of Revenue, he owes nearly six years' worth of sales tax, or more than $58,000. But he told News 10 he did pay his taxes. To find out what businesses are on this list, go to our website, WTHITV.com.